<clears throat> hey everybody, soybean farmer. Well, I got this filter off of here without it uh, dribbling oil all over the place. I tucked a bunch of uh, napkins up there behind it. Actually, they were paper towels. And praise God, the uh, re retaining spring had wore out and this thing had sat here long enough that the filter had drained itself so there wasn't any oil to come out of it. I'm really happy about that. And uh, you might have noticed a trip to the John Deere place uh, in a recent video. And that's what I was after was a John Deere oil filter for this John Deere motor in this John Deere combine. Now, what I put in here the last time I put an uh, oil filter in here was this Wix product. Wix makes good filters. Nothing wrong with this filter. Problem is, and it's a strange problem, the Wix filter costs more than the John Deere filter. And I think John Deere <coughs> would keep their filter quality, you know, high because that's what they're putting in brand new equipment that they got the warranty. So it makes sense to me they wouldn't put a they wouldn't let somebody make a uh, sorry filter for them. But it was about a dollar ninety cents difference. And uh, I was out and about and John Deere place was on the way to where I was actually headed and the thought popped in my mind and I said stop and get that filter. So we got this off. It was stuck on there pretty good. <laughs> I would kept easing on it and easing on it to have a lot of bad luck with filters collapsing. Uh, I'll show you the type of tool I use to get filters off. <clears throat> that right there is a band and what happens is when you uh, turn it, it gets tighter and squeezes it. It's supposed to turn the filter, <clears throat> but sometimes this piece right here will actually compress so hard against the filter it'll cause it to collapse. <clears throat> I'll punch a hole in it. I've had that happen too. But this time <clears throat> that sucker was so tight I couldn't budge it. So I went and got my trusty uh, budget bar, breaker bar, and I just kept applying uh, gentle steady pressure and I finally saw it turn. So we got it off, no events. I'm well pleased the way with this the way this went. So I'm up to the point now where I take the old filter and throw it down on the ground. And I take the new filter. And I, I like filters that come in plastic like that. It gives you a kind of a piece feeling that there ain't something inside the filter. Uh, but uh I know Fram filters. Fram's got a big name because they do a lot of advertising, but they ain't too much to their filters, and they don't uh, they don't come wrapped up like that. Now, something you want to do to a new filter before you put it on, and actually it's really important, you need to oil that rubber gasket right there. It's a rubber gasket. It does two things. Number one, it makes it seal. And number two, next time you go to get it off, it actually keeps that gasket from cooking to that metal bearing surface that it's going to press up against. So you can get it off without it sticking and tearing all the pieces and making a giant mess. So what I'd like to do is take a paper towel and the only oil I'll ever put in a diesel, that stuff right there. And lid off, lid down. And this don't take a whole lot. Where did I get that? Get off me. All right, so just do that on the paper towel. And that's what you need right there. And take that and wipe a film on that uh, like that. That's all you need to do. And it's done. 
and then go down here one more time I'll actually use this fold it over like that and take my little light I like this little light it's handy one two and go down there put some daylight on the subject and wipe that barren surface and go ahead and get all my napkins out of here because the worst thing could happen be one of these napkins get caught up underneath that okay that's got them out of there that one's the clean one and give it a good looking over one more time All right, that looks clean. I'll take the new filter. I need both hands of them to put the light down. Light's got a magnet on it, but it ain't very strong. Put it right there. Jake Ziegler's got a light just like that. I saw him using it, and then one day, I saw him stick it up on something, and I said, I wonder. And sure enough, that's when I found out the thing had a magnet on it. All right. Go down in there, don't drop it because it'll go somewhere that'll be a big fight to get out. Ah, shoot. Alright. There's the. Let's see, I touched something that'll get it nasty. Nope. Alright, that thing leans that way. Try again. Can't, you can't get right on it. There we go. I felt it that time. All right. Screwing it on. And the way I do filters is I get them hand gorilla hand tight as tight as I can get them by hand and of course this one's got an awkward position to it so I can't really get a hold of it but <clears throat> and then the way this thing works and I need to wipe that out because that little bit of oil in there cause it to slip. There. And that's what I was saying, the way this works is you pull that off and turn it around to reverse the direction on it. And reverse the ratchet also. This ratchet not not a nice ratchet. It's a ratchet, but it is not a nice ratchet. All right, get you down in here like that. And on there. Yeah, you would go to the bottom of that, wouldn't you? Now, I want to do this about a half turn. tight you over tighten this thing get gorilla with it and you will have a mess getting it off next time come out from in there what are you hung on all right well i got that much of the tool back let's see if i can get that out what is it hung on are you serious it's <laughs> All right, I got you. And that, folks, changes the oil filter on this thing. He was touch and go there for a minute trying to get that other one off. I was like, don't crush it, don't. 
you know, think about it for a minute. You crush the filter and rip the filter can. You're going to have enough to get a hold of. I saw a fellow sitting up at the mechanic shop hanging out one day drinking coffee. And a fellow came in there and he said, I've got a filter tore all the pieces on a motor at home. And I don't have any more idea how to get it off. And I don't know, I listened to some conversation there and saw some images in my mind. And thank God I had never had to actually encounter a situation like that. Well, we're up to the part now where uh, we'll go down here and seal up. Y'all saw all that yesterday. I think I'll put the top on that before I kick it over and make the giant mess I was trying to avoid. Everybody, thanks for watching my videos.